I still have to control the situation. So I was like, you know, give me space. And he started doing the whole thing. And then the hand dropped down. And it looked like the pre-assault indicator for the punch. And that's when I clinched up with him and brought him in like this. Except he didn't turn like you instinctively turn your head because you trained with me. It broke his glasses. I had no intent of breaking his glasses. But I brought him down like that. Because, you know, what are we trained? If you're either all the way out or all the way in is when you're safe from the punches. Well, he's very athletic. And so when he did that to me, like go ahead and clinch me and pull me down, he pile drive me into the staircase. Yeah. And then for a second, I thought he was trying to disarm me because he was pulling, he was at one point in on me so hard that he actually cut his forearm on my gun. Wow. He was scraped it so hard. But I was like, okay, that's not, it, something didn't feel right. And I was able to glance down and I realized, no, that's his form. He's not trying to disarm me. So that that's good that I recognize that. Because okay. that's another reason to train, stay out of your lizard brain. So you have the ability to recognize your surroundings. But he was grabbing onto the railing okay. and shoving. So what I did and we'll work on today is he was down like this. I went and was trying to go for a uh, Kimura lock. Yeah. Everywhere the head and hips go, the shoulders go, you're controlling the entire center line. Perfect. Go ahead and prevent me. Yeah, see how, put that hip in close again. Yeah, see? Makes it difficult for me to get in, and then when I do, that's when you go and just like boom, yeah, perfect. So we'll keep doing that, but we'll do this three times: one, two, three, and then I'll have you sh shift up like this. Uh, I'll do it, demonstrate okay. it first, and then bump, and then we're just gonna stop right here because then we're working on just entries for stuff. Would you do it that way? I don't know. You could, but that's kind of what we're working on is that standing Kimura, or you could bump and do a, a drag into a, we'll work on that one too. I really like that one. We did that one on, yeah. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. We did that, to, I had a purple belt too. That's me the other day. I was like, that was cool. <laughs> that is nice. <laughs> so we're here. Boom, two, three, and I'll do it one more time just to, sh to show you. I bump to create that space. And then I'm going to, see I'm keeping that space in case you want to take my back. But I've already got the Kimura at that point. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna do this. So it's your turn. So if I'm here and I got the elbow and I just twist, it, it's gonna work. Yeah. But if I try to put my elbow in, into your ear, See what that does? Yeah, yeah. It really tightens it, it actually, up quickly. You can take my back quickly. Yeah, and, and yeah, I could like for say, I might lose this, but I can still take your back. But with this, then I can like throw you or just spin you to the ground. We're not gonna we're gonna be very careful back because this is really hard on the shoulder, or it can be. Okay. So again, I'm sorry. I'm here. Here I bump create that space to get the wrist yep. and then I bump I'm just showing these little individual things I like to cut like like I'm trying to cut the throat just to create that space my elbow in, in your ear and that puts you up in that Kimura it can be thumbless grip or it, when I'm doing a standing Kimura I tend to like a thumb grip when I'm on the ground I tend to do mostly thumbless just because I uh, gravity is on my side on the ground but when you're standing, it's, you don't have that advantage. <laughs> yeah, you're, keep, you're sliding down. So if I do this, let's say we're here, yeah. I can slide and that's fine. That it absolutely can work. But here, boom, I'm just, I'm doing a combination of going to it and, bump. and bumping you to, so it's like basically trying to, from two different, it's a push-pull thing. Like I'm not gonna do it because it's hard to fall out of, but basically I just sit down and I put my foot or knee into you and throw you. And if I hold on to the arm, 
it's going to whiplash me up on top of you. Mm -hmm. and then, that's all fine and dandy, but it's it's hard to fall out of mm -hmm. without hyperextending the shoulder. Yeah. Another thing you could do, and you're probably used to this from your Krav, and you know how in Krav you do this? Yes. Uh, so almost think about it like that, where I'm boom, boom. That way I can like do something like this. This, this position is great, and you can absolutely get it. But it's good from, from your Krav, where I'm overhook, where I'm under, if I'm underhook, I wouldn't do this. I've already got that position, maybe. Is the emphasis is boom, because now you've got so many things you can do in case this, you'll know if it's gonna happen or not. Like if you got me and you got here, and I start doing stuff like this, you've, I've elongated my arm, okay. you've lost the opportunity, but that doesn't mean you can't just like A-frame kick me, like we're gonna kick me in the groin, boom, and now maybe you can get it, you know. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do a lot of things yeah. from here. Exactly, so it's all softening them up. Or in Japanese, they call it temi, a temi waza is vital point striking. Not necessarily striking just to strike, but I'm always going for the vital points because they have much more effect. The move is important. I just like you to see various. there are various things you can do you know, from here. And right here, I was here, boom, instead of going here, because maybe you start spinning to take my back, and I just go with you and I end up doing something else. So I don't get married to anything, it's just, this is kind of a flow drill, mm -hmm. but we're putting emphasis on the Kimura because I just like it so much. Kimuras are just so effective. Right, that was for the standing Kimura. It was a pummeling drill, uh, kind of a flow drill that had emphasis on the Kimura, but you could see there were other options to go from there. I'm just a big fan of the Kimura. All right, everybody, like, subscribe, and share. Let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out. Huh?